picture your penis, I'm alone. <laughs> whatever the fuck she said. Anyways, hello earthlings, hello crybabies, whatever you want to be called, babe, I'll do it. Because I respect your pronouns or whatever the fuck that means. Anyways, today we are re-reading the meaning of void. Because as you know, the void music video is dropping in literally like less than a week. I was complaining that, oh, why did she announce that it's so early? But now look at the time. We have less than a week till the actual music video is dropped. And it is taking everything in me to contain my excitement. Also, I introduced this video because I just, with powder, because I just uh, watched Arcane for the first time. And Vi's sister powder, she can choke. We're not even going to get into Arcane because I am I will go on a tangent. However, powder stuck in my head just like this album has been for months. It's been on repeat, babe. And Void, since the beginning, the only track that made me cry. Void just does something to me. So I know I'm not ready for the freaking music video. Let me just tell you what Void means to me. Void obviously ties into the story and plotline of Crybaby. But when you really dissect the lyrics, it's about being lost, trying to find yourself, determination, perseverance, and overcoming the dark thoughts that you have in your mind. Turning, what did she say? She's such a freaking poet and lyricist. Turning the negative thoughts, I, yeah, ah, ah, in the second verse, turn them into beauty. Like the negative thoughts you have about yourself, all the judgments and all this stuff, turn it into beauty and light the light within me or something like that. I don't know. It's about how she, the first half of the song, she dwells on the negativity. The middle of the song, she like, changes it to better herself and then on, at the end of the song like you persevere and you don't you don't you don't falter you don't give up like you just keep going and it's just such a beautiful motherfucking song and void is just everything but let's see what melanie's interpretation and meaning was behind it subscribe for me here oh not to mention babe the concert i'm literally oh my god y'all are about to get so much freaking content we've got this video We've got the Void music video coming in a week. We have to go shopping for my concert outfit because I don't know what to wear to a Melanie Mar Martinez concert. Like Taylor Swift, that was one thing. You just wear sparkly, cutesy, girly stuff. But like we all know the Earthlings, Crybaby fandom. It's different. So what? we got to go to the mall and like look for an outfit. I don't even know like what genre of clothes to start shopping for though. I need y'all's help with that. What do I wear? But look forward to that vlog. And then you, I'm vlogging the concert, obviously. And you know your girl got like middle front-ish kind of seats. So you're going to be getting that floor perspective, babe. One thing about me, when I'm going to a concert, best believe it's going to be floor seats every time. So yeah, look forward to that. You've got a lot of content coming. Um, but yeah, the concert is, is it on Ticketmaster or Seat Geek? Fuck both of them, but... Here we go. June. It's coming up. So like a month-ish away, like four weeks. Yeah. Get ready for all the content. Y'all are about to be fed. But enough jibber-jabber. Let's get into the meaning of void. Here we go. I don't know if you can see that, but... And I don't want to hear anybody coming at me about my tabs and how many tabs I have open, okay? I need every single one of them. Yes, I do. Welcome to content creation. But anyways, void. She says, Melanie Martinez... This is the first song fully produced on my own. Now, going back to what I just said, how I interpreted Void to mean, the fact that this is the first song that she, this is all, Void is all Melanie. From the instrumental, to the vocals, to the lyrics, every aspect of Void is Melanie. Like, I don't, I don't think you guys, if you're a Void hater, just shut the fuck up. Because this song is genuinely, like, soul- soul grabbing soul owning like the song owns me for, again from the very beginning the first time i heard this song i was in tears and still a month later two months later i feel the same way void is just void is top five she says this is the first song fully produced on my own also in the portal room the first thing i put down was the bass guitar top line Ooh. well i don't know why but whenever i think of produced songs or instrumentals I don't think of like real instruments. Like I think it's all computerized and like someone just pressing a keyboard. But the fact Melanie was in the portal room really, really like putting together the chords and like constructing. Oh my God. 
Oh my, wow, wow, wow. And this is also why I cannot stand mediocrity. I stand Taylor Swift, I sell Lana Del Rey, I stand Melly Martinez, I stand Rihanna, I sell Mama Moo, I stand Beyonce. Like, you can't just be coming out here doing mediocre shit and expecting me to like, you know, it's gotta be top tier. If Melanie can really produce and construct an entire song in one like little enclosure, create a whole enclosure for that artistry, best believe bitch, you're gonna have to give me something more than, I don't know, this basic ass pop music people do nowadays. Anyways, she first thing she put down was the bass guitar top line. It was an exact melody from a voice memo ad recorded a few days prior. Interesting. So like you get a melody in your head, you record it for a voice memo to like save it, and then you construct it into the actual instrumental, like with instruments. So from your mouth and your brain, battle of the larynx type shit, to actually producing it, like with instruments. That's cool. I put down a simple programmed drum loop that was later replaced slash mixed in with live drums by Rice Hastings. Okay, so there is a little bit of like technology aspect there, but even then she says that she then utilized real drums and a real drummer to make that computerized rhythm. I remember screaming that chorus. Oh, I remember screaming that chorus while crying. Same. Pipe down with the noise. And like how high she sings it. I didn't who I was before. I fear I won't live to see the day. To like it's all overwhelming. Someone tell me if this is hell. Like you're literally that first half of the chorus, you're about to be consumed by the energy. And then it's all of a sudden you break out of it. Gotta escape the void. There is no other choice. Like a piece behind, like a priest behind confession walls, I judge myself. Kneeling on a metal grater, bloody like a body that is died and it's myself. Tangled in my own intestines. Like I am my own delusion. I'm the one causing all these problems. My brain, it's not even real though. No, yeah. If you're a void hater, choke. But yeah, she says, I remember streaming that chorus while crying. Like she wrote that. I, their brains. I'm thinking Taylor and her pen, Lana and her pen, Melanie and her pen, like these people are crazy. It felt like a weight needed to get off of me. That's the best way, honestly, to describe void. Like all this heavy shit, as is being released through the song, legitimately. The weight of my anxiety, the weight of my brain, and it perfectly fit for the second stage, a void. Second stage of Crybaby. So if we went from like real life and what we're actually going through back to the storyline of Crybaby. A void, a dark place where you, left al where you are left alone with your own thoughts for introspection in order to find the light within yourself. Best song! Aside from the deluxe tracks, those, those low key does, fairy sorbet, you can keep it. Give me powder, but back to void, phenomenal song, phenomenal song from the way it sounds to the lyrics, to the message, to the fact that Melanie constructed every single aspect of it. Void is that girl. And if you hate, I, I keep saying this, if you don't like void, it's, it's a you problem. You're the, I'm the problem. It's me. Anti-hero ass. Yes. Void is everything. And I'm, oh my God. What is a music video about to die in life? Do it all, set your face black and brown. I ain't answered now. What if she's crazy and gives us a music video for every song on the album? Cause she already gave us death. Second track, Void. If she does Tunnel Vision next, it's basically confirmed. Anyway, Void MV coming, and I, I can't even wait for it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you're ready for all the Melanie Martinez content that you're about to get. Like I said, I gave you a whole rundown. There's at least like four or five videos coming this month, so look forward to that. And if you've made it this far into the video, say, favor, congrats for getting out of the void. I'm not gonna go into detail, but there's a reason I just, I'm connected to Void so much and it is, it's just very, very real for me. But thank you for being here. Thank you for watching as always. 
I see you, by the way, not watching every single video I post, bitch. If this is the first video you've watched of mine in weeks, shame on you. Go back and watch all my content, not just the Melanie ones. But anyways, I love you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.